Hello everybody, this is Random Terry again here joining you or welcoming you to join me for another Timu haul and I took all the tape off of this but I did not rip it open yet so I will be looking at these things and I got my laptop open so I can look at the prices of them um, as I show them to you. I'm rustling plastic so my dog is looking at me and thinks it's something to eat. I swear, he's on a diet, so I got some special food for him, some weight management food for him, recommended by the, oh, in Atlanta, recommended by the vet. So, he stares at me almost constantly and licks his lip like he's hungry still, poor thing. So I give him a little bit more of the food, but, alrighty. It's not for you, Pookie. Okay. Okay. We'll get in there. And we did. Okay. Ooh, okay. I don't know what I want to do. Just start pulling things out. Random? Maybe? I can? Okay, I will. So, first thing here is some little bee lights. It's a strip, like little fairy lights. I'll just pull them out of the packaging. And they're like little bees along the fairy lights. I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to pull one away so you can see it without. There we go, maybe that'll do. You can see that one, kind of, how they are. They look super cute. And I will tell you momentarily what I think I paid for them. I keep thinking that they change prices on here, but these, I believe I paid 218 for them. It might be bringing up. I, I kind of look at this and I'm a little shocked but I think I, I think they change the prices. Like when you have something in your cart and um, if the price changes, it changes it in there. So keep a look, keep an eye on that. Keep, keep an eye out on that if you ever shop on Timu. So that's gonna be for, I think I showed you my last haul, there was a bumblebee like tote, totes. So that's what this is going to be for, to kind of help go in that. It's going to be a tote and then the contents in it. And then um, I'll have the lights on. When I drop it off, I will turn the lights on. So yeah, so it should be cute. Um, and then the next thing I have is this, which I'm kind of happy for because I got a, um, a phone case from them earlier. And it's on my phone, so you can't see it. I'm sorry. It's kind of purple. It's got flowers in the back. And I really liked it. And it was kind of pretty cheap. And this was $1.69. If I can ever get the darn thing open. Where there's a will, there's a way. I will do it. And what was floating around in the bag with the thing was this. It sticks on the back. And it's really pretty metal. And it's um like a ring on the back. Of it and let me show you the whole case because the case is pretty nice I think I saw somebody else haul this and thought I had to get one but there's the case it's black and it's kind of shiny and that goes on it somewhere back there wherever I want to put it on but you kind of get the idea it's it's really pretty and there's like black and gold um, it's pretty flexible Yeah, black and gold, black with gold accents, trim, which are pretty, 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 pretty. So that's that. And I am going to put it back in the bag because I don't want it to get too scratchy by shuffling it around over here. So that one I'll put back in the bag. Some of the other ones I don't think I will, but bear with me, bear with me. And the little heart thing. I think that heart sets it off, actually. So I don't think I'm going to... And I'll put that up here so it doesn't get scratched down there. Okay, and then, well, we'll move right along. And I, oh, I know what this is. And this, I heard somebody else say that they might have been sold out. But it looks like they're still on here. So that case was $169. And this is like lip balm. This is kind of like Christmas because I have a couple team orders still out that are being shipped. Yeah, don't tell the man. Oh, and I'm not going to open this. 
because mm, it goes in the basket. Because it's sealed, but you know what? I think I will just because I want to check it out. Make sure it's not. Oh my goodness. It's, I should have brought some scissors or something here. Oh. Well, they really have that sealed, that plastic on there. Goodness, if I can just get my finger under there and rip it. Oh, there we go. Well, I think I'm doing the person I'm giving this to a service, so then I'll have to struggle with the wrapper. What do you think? That's what I'm telling myself, my story, and I'm sticking with it. So, comes this cute little box, which it will stay in there. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. I don't want to rip the box, so I slide something under it and try to lift it. Okay, so this is lip balm, and it looks like a little honey pot. And it's all written in um, Chinese. But the cute thing about this is, I don't want it to go flying across or get soiled. You flip open the top, and there's like a little honey dipper that comes out. I think it snaps in. I'm not going to touch it. Um, and that's what you use in the bottom. To get in a... Hmm, no, no real particular smell to that. Um, and you just kind of swoop it on there and you put it on your lips. And I just thought that was just cute. And um, for a little honey pot. And it looks cute, kind of like it's dripping down. So that's going to go in that basket. That is going to have the bees on it. So, let's go in the box. I'll put that there. And then another thing, this month I still have to give things out. Ooh. Um, so along that same line, I've got, now I can start getting this ready because i got to deliver. It's kind of a green theme basket for March. And think about it, you know, green. Um, St. Patrick's Day. So these are little shamrock um, lights, fairy lights, too. That'll be real cute. Double A batteries, I think, three of them in this one. So same concept is going to go around it to kind of um, accent it. So. And let's see, the honey pot was 224, the lip balm. And then my lights, my shamrock lights. St. Patrick's Day decorations, four leaf clover, two ninety eight for these. So, and then we have a silicone mat. It's just a. Um, I suppose I could take it out because I could just take it out and just put it in the basket without all this plastic. It'll look cuter, and it's not something that has to be hygienically clean. So that's uh, like a mat, like a trivet, like a hot plate or a hot thing. And it's kind of on the green side, so I thought that would go in. And who doesn't need another mat? And if I would have thought about it, got one of these in yellow and put it with the honeycomb basket. I don't know if they have it in yellow. This, 48 cents. I think I could afford that. So there's that. And then, oh, oh sorry, got an itch. My hair is all over the place. Um, oh, this is pretty. This is cute. I'm so glad this came. It's a little bobble for the shamrock basket or the green basket. And it is a bead garland. Really cute. With the little, like a, I think it's like a wooden, a wooden little hat. Oh, ooh, smells like paint. <laughs> and um, some gold and green beads. And at the other, oh, this is what I smell. The twine, that's it. Um, and then a little tassel. So that's going to be decorating that basket as well. So there's that. Let's go with that. Oh. 
See if there's anything else that needs to be. Those are mine. Uh, like my gift item things. I know there's more. Oh, yeah, here we go. I knew there was some more. If the gal I'm giving this to will appreciate it, but and I'm sorry about the glare, but I'm gonna leave it in there because it looks like it's got glitter. So only when I get ready to make the basket, and then I'll take it out of here and get the glitter issue. So, um, but it's real cute, it's on the springs. It is a um a headband with the wobbly shamrocks on the top. And that was where are they? A dollar ninety-eight. So I thought that was kind of cool to get to put there and I know there's one other item there that I had to go with that basket oh heck oh, that wasn't it oh this is it okay this is cute and I actually thought this was bigger it is a St. Patrick's Day wooden ornament and it was $2.59 and let me kind of stick it together it's like a shelf sitter just a cute little item. I got more in this than I thought for the basket. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so it's a shelf sitter, but it comes with the notch in it, and all you have to do is put it down in there. And it's kind of cool, and I might put that, ooh, get that in there a little bit better. I may put that on there and maybe have it sticking out like that and having full of luck pointing down into the basket. It's an idea. And then lights around it and the garland over it. So that that is cute. And I think I'm going to put that right back here for now so I don't bop it around that much. I'll have it aimed towards me. So um, I'm going to leave that for now. I might as well just take everything out of here. It's all kind of coming out anyway. I think it's empty. All right, and on to some things that are not so frivolous, I guess. This is a sleep bonnet for me because I will tend to go to sleep and my hair will be okay when I wake up, except the back, it's all frizzed out. So I'm going to try one of these. Has anybody else tried one of these to sleep on? I already sleep on like a satin pillowcase that I got from Dollar Tree, um, which is good. But I kind of want to keep my hair together and there's something stuck on my hand that's not coming off. Good gracious. There we go. Okay. So it's just pretty satin thing. Oh, the shelf sitter, did I tell you it was $2.59? Okay. I did. I think I did. And the garland? Did I tell you the garland? I don't think I told you how much the garland was. The beaded garland was $3.99. But it, it, it's pretty nice. Pretty heavyweight, too. So, and then my, um, told you the shelf sitter. And then my bonnet was $0.99. Cent. And it's a satin bonnet. And it's pretty, pretty stretchy. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep in that. We'll see. Put my hair up under it. Hui hui. I feel like I want to talk French and put a pom-pom on this. Yes? Okay. So we'll tuck my hair up under that and we'll see about um, if that keeps my hair from getting all frizzy. I was almost interrupted there until the husband saw that I was talking to you guys and stopped. So that's a cute little, and I picked it out in pink because I just kind of like pink. And Plus when I lose it in the bed when it comes off, I can spot it easier. I anticipate those things happening. Um, okay, so I used to decorate cakes a little more frequently in the past, and I um, freak or recently needed my bags, my icing bags, to decorate something with. Was it a cake? What did I make? Cake? Cupcakes? I forget what it was. Um, but my old bags that are, you know, name brand bags, and it's been probably over 10 years that I've had them, started breaking down the seams. And you ever have a bag? I don't know if you ever experience this, if you do this or not. Um, you squeeze the bag with the icing in it, and it all of a sudden pops out the side where the, um, the seam is. 
yeah, not so much fun trying to squeeze it into a different bag. So I bought a, actually I bought two sets of these in case I do something that's multi and I'll get through of those old ones. These are silicone bags in three different sizes. And I'll open one of them, I'll open the small one. And I did buy that set and I bought another set of three. So I have them because sometimes I used to like put, transfer like a picture or something onto the top of the cake and then outline it with black and then color it in and with different colors as I'm going. So I have to have like the different bags with the different colors. Pain in the butt, but you know, it was fun at the time. But now sometimes I can't do it as much because if you see my hands, they kind of hurt sometimes. And these, I think I have a big one that I bought in the past. But, um, oh yeah, this is nice. And I liked it because it has like a little tabby here. You know, my hands aren't working. So if you have to hang it up or something, if you want to fill it, there it is. It's pretty nice. And we shall see how these hold up. And these... I bought two of them, so they probably weren't that much. And we'll see what they are now. One seventy nine for a set. So that was not bad. If you go and try to buy those other bags, I can bet you money that it would be a lot more than that. So there is that. I have to thought. All these bags are sliding all over the place. So I got six bags in three different sizes. So I'm kind of happy about that. It's something that is was needed. And something else that's not, oh, these are huge. Well, maybe not bigger than ones you buy without the handle. I'll take one out. The, um, <laughs> I don't know if that's loud enough for you guys to hear. Paper shredders running. Okay, pumice, toilet cleaning. And these were $1.68 each. And I don't know if they were the same amount. Helicopters now? I don't know if that's pretty loud for you, but my ears, that was pretty loud. The other night I heard shots fired, but you know, that's something else. So, um, I know they have ones, and I guess it is about the same size when you buy it, like at Walmart or something but they don't have the handle on it. And it might be about the same price, but when I was looking at it and I'm thinking $1.68 with a handle, I'll grab it. So um, I bought two of them. So it's just something that, and it's not broken because it came in a bubble wrap because it is stone and hopefully the other one's not broken either. So there's those. I don't know why I'm putting this in there. I'm gonna put it with my cleaning stuff. Sorry. So that was just something that was needed and I saw it and like Timu has like a lot of things. Um, I even ordered, I saw some things or I'm going to order for my Keurig. There's like water filters and I ordered some from Amazon. Um, I guess they were cheap for what I, you know, compared to the Keurig brand, but I think the ones on Timu were even cheaper. So, and then I bought this little package of stickers. I'm going to try not to tip my head back, but when I tip my head back, I'm looking through my bifocals to read it. So, um, I'll hold them, hold them down here, or even to see the camera. So, let me open the box, and I'll show you some of these, and I'll move right along, because how long? I don't even know. We're 19 minutes. Okay. Sure, I'm going to take them out just that fast. They're not coming out too quickly. And I'm not sure how many were in here. I told you how much the pumice stones were. These were stickers. Let's see, where are you? Where are you? You, you come on now. Oh, $1.29, 48. All right, I'll just pull that back. And these were little stickers. And I honestly do not know what they're gonna be for or I'm use, gonna use them for. Um, but they were cute. They're like grocery store sign sticker things. And they're not they're not too big. They'd be cute 
if you like made cards or if you did junk journaling they'd be cute but I'm just gonna show you some of these Ugh. coffee beans like coffee beans there we go was that 12 cents and uh, star fruit carambola they almost look like crate labels too how much were those Well, five fifty-five. I don't think I'm buying those star fruits, um, but just cute things, cute things. Lemons and I even got crabs. Not really, but that's kind of cool. So it's just there's a ton of them. They seem like more than oh boy. They're just cute. They're all square like that. And instead of trying to get these back in the box, I think I might just put them over there so this thing isn't that long. I'll slide them on over. Okay. And then a couple other items. And those were, what, $1.29. And then I bought some little things that I know I didn't need, but I thought I wanted it. They were cheap enough. This one is $1.88. And it is a brooch, a pin. And it is a rhinestone sunflower. And is that not pretty? I like sunflowers. And sometimes I wear them on my jackets and stuff. Um, and this is just so pretty. It was a dollar eighty-eight, and when I saw it, and this is even prettier than it is on the computer. So, and it's got the the pin back. And let's see, it is the. No, not a not a, like a little twisty latch, but it just kind of goes into that little thing there. Oh, don't poke myself. Get you back under there. Okay. So there's that pin. It's just pretty. I forget what they call that, these stones around the side, but geez. Oof. I'm sorry. I'm staring at that too much. It's just, I like it. It's pretty. I didn't think it was going to be this pretty, but it is, and I enjoy that. Okay, so that's my sunflower pin for $1.88. And then I have another pin that um, I kind of collect. I don't have a great deal, but I have a few. I don't know if I have 10 yet, but I collect Christmas tree pins, uh, usually rhinestone type things. So I saw this for $2.88, and I know it's not Christmas, but I thought I'd get that one. Christmas brooch because I thought that was really pretty too and the way it shines just beautiful so sometimes I get a um one time at least I had like a sweater on and I took all different sizes of my pins and I put put them all over like a little forest on my you know on the side of the chest or whatever I did when we went Christmas tree shopping one time that's back when we got for you know the live trees or the natural trees, but it's getting a little hard for us now, so, and dirty, and so I got a nice one with lights. So there is that to add to my collection, and I just think that's so pretty. And it almost looks like it's just red, white, and blue stones, doesn't it? With the green on the back. Oh, there's some green, some red, some white, and some blue, okay. There are some green stones in there, like right there and right over there. So, okay, but that's just gorgeous too. If you want something like a brooch or something from there, you like the bling, this, I think, to me, is the place, the way to go. I mean, it's not expensive if you just, especially costume jewelry, basically. So there's that. And I think we're down to the last two items. Um, that last one's going to be <laughs> last. Um, so, next one is shoes. Now, Lord knows I don't need shoes, but for years, and I mean years, I have been looking for a cute white shoe to wear in the summer that would hide my toes, um, that I could wear with a skirt and stuff, or wear with capris and such. So I saw these, and they're not quite white, are they? They're a little bit off-white, but Women's Hollow Out sandals are $12.99. They look like they're stuffed with plastic. Um, 
uh, might be a little cushion in there and we will see how these fit and there's a little give in them so that's the shoe and these I just thought they were cute they're open and airy uh, yet they help they hid my toes they hide my heels um, They've got what looks like a fairly decent tread. They even come with a sticker on the back. We'll take that off. And I am going to, oh, this is kind of, this is loose. This isn't attached there. So that strap goes around up behind. So huh, that's interesting. Okay. So these were $12.99. And let me see if I can manage to get my... get it on my shoe or get it on my foot get the shoe on my foot Ooh. they almost feel a little loose because I bought them in a nine and a half which is my size but uh, I'm gonna have to look on Timu and see if they have some of those things to put in the back to keep the shoe from slipping off my heel slips out of it But at least on this foot, they feel comfortable. Or maybe trade them. Oh, they're cute. They're cute on, too. I like them. We'll see how they are when I'm actually standing on them. Uh, verdict is out. Maybe I'll get in touch with them and I'll get them, um, get a smaller size if they have them. Just a half size. I'll try the other one on. So maybe I won't throw that plastic bag away. Yeah, let's pull that bag right there. Because nine and a half is is what in your pain sizes. Because this said 42, and I thought I was a 41 in your pain sizes. What did the bag say? 42. Hmm. I'm thinking that might be off a little bit because this is, they were, that one was really, I was floating in it. Although it does make it comfortable when you have that. But the, the, um, I have to say the, the leather or pleather, let's put it that way, is really soft, really soft. It's like, and it's so smooth inside. Nice. And they came in different sizes, too. I'm going to keep that in the plastic just in case I can exchange that. And I hear, I haven't run into it yet, but I hear that customer service with Timu is pretty good from other people that have done the hauls and stuff. Okay, so those were $12.99. And then for the last thing, well, the last thing that I got, because there's two things that aren't in this shipment that were shipped separately. I should expect those in a few days. So what it's kind of been. Okay, where are you? Okay. Ah. A flex edge beater. The four and a half to five quart attaches to KitchenAid. 4.5 to five quart bowl and bowl tilt head mixers. Works with KitchenAid. And even has the numbers what it fits. And this was $8.58. At least that's what it's saying. 8.58, and let's see how it feels. It feels like metal, oh yeah. Oh, that feels, that feels like a, huh. Yeah, I've wanted one of these that scrapes the bowl, but there were always so much and I wasn't gonna spend the money for it. But at 8.58, I thought, let's give this a go. So I bought that for my mixer. So, and it looks, looks like it, it's heavy. It's pretty heavy weighted. So that was the last little piece of, last item that I got with this haul. So I'm going to give that a try. And I thought, I think, no, the shoes were the highest price thing, I think. So that's my haul for today. And I think I've taken up enough of your time, but hopefully I'm keeping it pretty close to just a half an hour, 30 minutes. Um, because I know that last one went on a little long, <laughs> because I do tend to babble a little bit. So that's my haul for today. If you like this 
as I said before, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. That I guess helps something. I'm not sure, but um, glad you could join me today. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. See you in the next one.